Welcome to Mrs. Taylor's math class. Today we will learn how to identify the independent variable versus the dependent variable. So let's begin. Aaron earns $12 per hour working at a shoe store. How much money M does he earn on a shift of H hours? We need to answer these four questions. The first question says, what are the two quantities in this situation. So if you look at the question part of our scenario, you would notice that there are two variables. One variable is for money, which is the variable M, and the other represents the number of hours that Aaron works. So we're gonna write here money, and that's M, and we have hours, and that's H. The second question says, which of these quantities depends on the other? So we need to ask ourselves, well, what do we want to know versus what do we already have or can, what can we change? In this particular case, we want to know how much money Aaron will earn. So what do we want to know? The money earned, or in this case, money with the variable M. So the money earned depends on the number of hours H that Aaron works. So what is your independent variable? Your independent variable is going to be the variable that answers, this que answers the question, what, are, what do you already know or what can you change? In this case, it's going to be the hours. The dependent variable is going to be the variable that answers the question, what do you want to know? In this case, we want to know how much money Aaron is going to make. Let's take the same scenario, but this time in table format. The first table is a vertical table. In this vertical table, your first column is going to be your independent variable. And your second column will represent your dependent variable. In a horizontal table, the top row is your independent variable. And the bottom row is your dependent variable. So now let's do this question one more time, but this time let's represent this situation in a graph. So we have our table and our table consists of five ordered pairs. Now, again, the first column is your independent variable, which is gonna go on your X axis. And your dependent variable will go on the Y axis. So we have X axis here and we have y-axis here. So at the corner, we have zero. So let's go ahead and label the x-axis, and it's gonna be labeled with the number of hours. So as you can see, we start at zero, then we have one, two, three, four, and we can keep going until we finish numbering, but I'ma stop here. And we're going to label this side hours work. Or we could just label, label it hours. Okay. Now the y-axis is going to represent the amount of money that Aaron is going to earn based on the number of hours that he has worked. So we will start at zero, but we're going to count by 12s. So it would be zero, then 12, then 24. 36, 48, 60, 72, and I'm gonna stop there. Now, we're gonna label this side money. So now let's plot the points. Our first ordered pair is zero, zero. So we'll put a dot here at zero, zero. Then we have one and 12. 
So one hour gets you $12. And then we have two hours gets you $24. And then we have three hours gets you $36. And we have four hours gets you $48. So again, when you are looking at a table, your independent variable will be on your x-axis. And your dependent variable will be on your y-axis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Class is dismissed.